So, um, yeah, welcome back, YouTube, and you're probably wondering why I'm staring at the title screen of Legend of Grimrock again. I was kind of dumb, and I had a little bit of a blip with Camtasia, shall we say. And what ended up happening was what I thought was a successful conversion was actually not, and deleted my core file, so I have 27 minutes of gameplay footage that just no longer exists. Um, since I'm really close to the start of the game, I decided I'm just gonna start over and be a little bit more cautious about how I do things. And really, I don't know. I just, I like the game. I like the responses I'm getting to this game. I love the fact that my video has helped sell a few copies of the game. It makes me feel like, I don't know, good. So, new game, create characters, we're doing this all again. Everybody knows how this goes by now. Da 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 And... Tough. And... Skilled. And... One, two, three, four. And... One, two, three. We're not even bothering with athletics this time around. Bam. Let's do this as fast as possible. Da 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 And... Skilled and athletic and sword, sword, swords and athletics and armors. Just to be different, because we know how this is gonna go. Da 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 and. <laughs> Yeah, I'm cheating a little bit because it is a little bit different this time around, but so it goes. And we're going to make you poison resistant just to be different. Just to be different. Da -da, da -da. Yeah, good. And the biggest change coming. Do 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 do. <coughs> yeah. So, little little different this time around because let let let's be real. Let's be real. I'm a cheater. So we've seen this. Can we skip this? Is this skippable? This looks skippable. Alright. Well, we can get through the early parts of this game very quickly. We know this is here. And we know that this is a scary thing, but it's not too bad. We'll give Renick his boots back. Like, do I? Oh, wrong button. Do I have to do all of the map over again? No, I don't. Fantastic. Just have to remember the controls. Alright, so this first part's gonna be a bit of a speedrun. Don't care. Well, now we have a torch. Although eventually Vendriel will be holding torches. But for now, Sadrin's gonna be the torch guy. Let's see if we can't handle things just a little bit differently this time. Actually, here's a question, I wonder. Fantastic. We have spells this time, and I have a feeling I should not walk through that. Thank you, game. Things are a little bit different this time around. Peasant's Tunic, there you go. Peasant's Breaches, there you go. Protection, right? A little bit of protection. We need more protection. Protection it is. And, uh, I don't want to waste the torches. And we have a mace. 
Mace for my dude who uses maces. That's fantastic. Go. And we have a rock. Which we needed. And you can have another torch. I promise this will be more interesting once I get back to the new stuff, or at least the stuff that wasn't in episode one. And I need an iron key and loose rock. Click. Oh, sweet. I don't even have to bother putting this in an inventory. I can just go. Click. Torch. I wonder if I am indeed going to get, like, all... Ooh, ooh, ooh. Hey, what's up? What's up? Okay, so that has a range of nothing. Fantastic. This is gonna go much quicker. Alright. Snail slice. Because Peep's gonna be hungry. Leather boots. There you go. Have some protection. Their pants. Your turn. Knife. Torch. And she actually probably got... Yeah, she did get full XP for that. I've noticed that the way it works with combat is that... Um, what was the trick here? Right. Should somebody not actually participate in the combat, they only end up getting half the XP they would. There's that throwing dagger that makes Renick actually useful. So now we're in a slightly different position where I actually have four characters that can fight. So there we go. Everybody got in. Everybody got to do something out of energy. Can't reach. So I need to get Renick's dagger back, because he's now officially useless. There we go. And Illy probably... Can she cast this now? She can. Oh, sweet! That is a ridiculous dot. Okay. We're, we're in better shape than we were. As a matter of fact, if memory serves me right, this is where the previous episode cut out. Except I've only been at this for eight minutes now. So, what happens here? I'm going to take a nap. We're going to come back. We're going to save the game right here. And we're going to continue on, because I feel like making a longer video. Pit root bread, which is a little bit of food. And I can't remember, Do I? did I end up keeping a rock? Because I'm going to keep a rock. I've actually found that it's actually useful to keep rocks on you, just because you can use them as ranged weapons, you can use them for pressure switches, they have a lot of use. I need a key. And I don't remember where I got it from. That is fantastic. There's stuff here. There's a lot of stuff here. Baked maggot. That sounds delicious. I don't need more rocks. I do need more rocks. Let's have more rocks. Sandals. There you go, Illy. You're getting sandals because they're lighter. And Sadrin can have the boots. A loincloth. 
Willpower minus one, attack power plus one. Only the most self-confident of warriors can be seen on the battlefield wearing nothing but this garment. There you go. Do you have pants? You do have peasants' breeches. Sadron doesn't have pants. Illy doesn't have pants. Illy has pants now. Just because I want to keep my mage and my rogue healthy because they aren't. A couple of good hits will probably end them. Even if such is not true, play like it is because it it you never know. So I still have a rock. Oh, wait. There's a torch. Let's take the torch, because I don't know how long those torches are going to last. And then I remember freaking out about this face. But we need to, as it says right over here, heal my sight. Now, I looked for quite some time at this this outcropping, this mossy, grassy, rooted, and I just... I wanted to think that there was new stuff, but there's not. Nothing hidden that I could find. Of course, I could be wrong, but... Now, here's the trick here. I learned this trick where I can actually trigger combat get in a few hits and then if need be lock him out and then close the door wait for all my turns to come back oh snap hit, hit nope, stop hitting me now, I imagine I'm not going to be able to do this tactic for the rest of the game, but it is nice while it lasts, and those things are very weak to fire, which makes me glad that I changed what spells Illy knows. From what I understand, Grimrock Iliandris using the fire spells is incredibly ironic in a funny way, simply because of the roleplay that was going on. Ooh, 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 why? No, no. Out of energy. Crap. Okay. Wait, ooh. Here's another trick. Everybody's hurting. Or, Vendril's nearly dead, so we're gonna rest. And that locked door keeps that monster out. I don't know how we can, like, take a nap while there's this creepy thing clearly in plain sight waiting to kill us, but... Bat, bat. Let's try this. Wow, that's still working to kill the thing. This is an even better idea. And now we just watch as... Well, at least that one was smart enough to move afterwards. But we're just going to chill here for a second. And, yeah, I mean, this is kind of a lame way to do it. But put, put yourself in their shoes. Put yourself in that situation. If you had a way to safely get rid of this monster and put yourself at the minimum risk possible... You'd do it, wouldn't you? I do like how the damage starts... Oh, nice. ...to become lesser and lesser and just less devastating than Grimcat. That's, that's like an edible mushroom. It's like a tasty mushroom. It's tasty. Okay. 
All right. All right. There's one of the things I need. I do like the fact that they literally have food all over the place. And this is where, after giving this to Rennick, I figured out there has to be some kind of, like, alchemy in the game. So, there's a blue gem. And here's a button. And you can just faintly hear something opening. I got a dagger. Attack power 7, accuracy plus 5. Attack power 5. Whoa, Renick. You're not a frontline fighter, so. Actually, I'm a little freaked out now because that was a different item than the first playthrough. Okay! I wonder if he'll still get full XP credit for trying, but we're not going to risk it. Okay. Come into... yep. Hit you, hit you. Torch you, throw a dagger. Combat is not so bad that it's, like, impossible to keep up. You have to pay attention, and it is, you know... You can't just sit there. This is time-based. It's not turn-based. So there are some of the, you know, modern quirks to it. I actually don't think I need to go into this area, but I'm going to do it anyway. Because these slugs are easy enough to kill. Nice. I don't know, giving Vendril an accuracy weapon is probably the best thing I've done. any energy, so... So now we're just waiting on two attackers. Fortunately, it's not that big a deal. Lots of snail slices. Renick's throwing dagger back. And the other blue gem. And when this first happened, I freaked. I was just like, did I lock myself in? Because I would step off, step back on the plate, and that's obviously a pressure plate right there. So I'm freaking out, and I'm like, how do, how do I get out of here? How do I get out of here? And does anybody recognize that? Now here's the, the real trick. So, remember that rock? I'm actually doing you guys a favor because I wasted like five minutes of the video just freaking out about that. Oh, there's more stuff here. That's good. Scroll of Fireburst. I know Fireburst already, so we don't need that. Another loincloth. Well, he wasn't wearing pants anyway, so... Tattered cloak. Cloaks seem mage-like. Have some evasion. And we need a rock for Rennick. Okay. So now that we have the two blue crystals, we can heal this dude's sight. And we better be prepared for what happens in the meantime.
Because this guy's gonna chase us, and he hurts. Oh, I got an achievement. I'm happy. Do you have enough to do this? You do. That was much easier this time around. And notice what happens when you take off the torch. And now we have a reach weapon. Reach weapons allow Rennick to actually hit from the back row. Eventually, I will actually have enough skill with assassination that he can do, you know, reach attack. I just have missile weapons and throwing weapons because, well, that's what he's using for now. So, we made it through, and all of a sudden we came to this door. This big iron door. And when you open up this scroll, great rewards can be found behind these doors. To gain access, look carefully for small details and use your wits. I'm not entirely certain. I didn't hear anything. I didn't hear anything go off. Did anybody else hear anything? Well, the thing I like about food is that you eat once and you're pretty much set. So we're all gonna eat something. Illy didn't seem, like, too inter terribly hungry. And we're going to take a quick nap. The way hunger works is that... Wait, what? What the hell is this? What is happening? You mean to tell me my entire party's having this dream right now? Who? Who are you? Well, the game kind of explained that we're trying to get out of here, didn't it? Down below... Uh, um... Okay... That didn't happen last time. Now this thing right here, this thing, I'm actually going to bring up my map and mark it. Note, crystal here. And what crystals do is I can click on them and get all my health and energy back, and it'll resurrect fallen party members. But as far as I know, it only works once, so I ain't touching it. Scroll of Poison Cloud. We know this already. And Vindril's torch just went out. So, actually, I wonder. Can you light a burnt out torch with a torch? No. So we're just going to drop it off because it's useless. There's another torch we can see again. And this is the way down to the second floor. What I'm going to do here instead we're going to save here, twice, so this way, enter episode save, in case I, you know, accidentally delete crap again, I don't have to start the game over. So, we've saved twice now, we were smart, and I'd like to thank you guys for watching if you did indeed watch through this whole thing again, and... When we come back, we will be working on floor two. See you next time.